Hi, this is Rob Beardsley with Lone Star Capital. Today I want to talk about the difference between mezzanine debt and preferred equity. So a lot of people ask this question when they're talking about uh, financing that's subordinate to the senior loan and they wonder what are the differences and how are those differences applicable to a given deal. And so, uh, and I've even heard that uh, different groups use these terms or use these structures interchangeably and it does, doesn't really matter to them which uh, one they're pursuing in terms of execution, pricing, and terms. So just take a step back and to define them. Um, mezzanine debt is where the lender that is providing uh, the subordinate loan is taking a pledge of equity as their collateral. So basically the borrower is, let's say they're making a $3 million down payment to buy a $12 million deal. They're going to pledge their ownership of that deal, meaning the, that $3 million of equity, they'll pledge that to the mezzanine lender. So in the event of a default, the mezzanine lender's recourse is a UCC foreclosure to uh, take over the deal. Meanwhile, preferred equity is an equity investment. So the, the collateral is actually uh, the, the investment into the single purpose entity that is taking ownership of the property and the rights control rights, uh, default remedies are outlined in the operating agreement of that uh, single purpose entity. So in, in some ways, preferred equity is similar to joint venture equity uh, because it's, you know, again, the terms are outlined in the operating agreement, whereas me a MES loan is going to have a, um, you know, collateral via the pledge and often will have an intercreditor agreement uh, between the senior lender and itself. So that, structurally, those are the differences between uh, MES and PREF. Now, the differences for us as PREF lenders is really the tax benefits. So the, the main thing for us is as a PREF equity investor, making an equity investment into the borrowing entity, we can receive tax benefits. And that's very important to us because uh, you know, we're fo focused on after-tax returns and delivering tax-advantaged um, returns to our investors. Meanwhile, in a MES deal, we could structure a very favorable um, MES loan, but at the end of the day, that's going to be treated as, the returns are going to be treated as interest and will be taxed as such, which is, uh, you know, can be highly unfavorable when compared to the tax advantages of making an equity investment that so many people focus on um, when they're making real estate investments. So, so for us, that's the main difference between uh, PREF and MES. Thanks for watching.